My name is Chris Rodriguez. I go by Chili Rodriguez. I'm a professional muralist, artist, good human. <laughs> sure. This mural originally started in the spring of 2019. Uh, I had originally did a, like a canvas, a 24 by 36 canvas of Tupac of this actual painting. Um, and one of my friends, David Ross, he works for the Toledo Arts Commission, seen it and I reached out to him. I'm like, hey, do you have a wall that I could possibly do this mural on? I wasn't looking to get paid or anything. I just wanted to kind of do it for the community uh, and just try like my first portrait mural. He said, yeah, give me a couple weeks. And then it kind of just went from there. I'd originally did a, a Biggie Smalls portrait because I just started doing uh, portrait canvases at that time. So my first one was Biggie Smalls. I'm a huge fan of hip hop. 90s hip hop is like one of my favorite things in the world. Um, so I did a Biggie and then my next one I was like, I'm just gonna do a Pac. And there wasn't really like a big meaning behind me doing the canvas, but like what it blossomed into was like a whole, a whole different thing. Yeah, so the rose that grew from the concrete, I think that is such a beautiful metaphor for so many people of like so many different walks of life, mine and you know, especially. So when I do my mural work, I usually try to have them in locations that are maybe a little more run down, where there's not that much other great things to look at in that area, because I really think that helps uplift others in the area and in that neighborhood to give them something to be proud of so they can say, hey, we got this beautiful art on this wall, let's keep it clean, let's you know, like look out for each other. I think it really just tries to you know, like uplift the neighborhood. I grew up in a crazy environment parents on drugs, you know, the whole nine yards. I'm sure like a lot of people can relate to that. But coming from that into like growing to like where I'm at now, like I am that rose and I see so many other people that can like be in the same situation and and like overcome everything that, you know, you know they're, they're faced against and like blossom into this, this beautiful rose. You just need to be nurtured. And like sometimes that's the hard part, but I think if you just keep on keeping on, you can, you know, accomplish anything for real. I just love colors, bright colors, vibrant colors, all the colors. That way it stands out, you know, people see it and like a lot of the time it touches a part of them, you know, like it makes them feel good when you see all these bright, vibrant colors, it lifts your day up. So like that's really just like what I like to focus on. The way I got into art in high school was just, you know, like painting graffiti illegally, like on trains and stuff. So I came in like trying to paint as big as possible because in that scene, you want to paint big so other people can't go over you. You want to be noticed. So like that was my introduction to art. I just prefer to paint bigger pieces. Um, a lot of people think it takes me a long time to do these big pieces, but like really I kind of knock them out kind of fast. Like I said, going back to the whole graffiti street art thing, it just, that those are my roots. Just painting big as possible. <laughs> Honestly, I just see myself as an artist. And then like I found my path in life that like reaches other people, which is great. And I love that to be able to like, you know, uplift others. You know, it took me a long time to kind of realize that because I do, I've noticed that about my work too. I like to paint, you know, like beautiful, bright colored things with a positive message. Um, sometimes I've tried to like go a little darker, like just go like that route, but that's not me. I mean, this is what I'm meant to do. Like this is my path in life. It's what I was put here to do. And I just don't see myself doing anything else. Like there really is nothing else for me to do as like a career or just in this life, outside of being a father to my children. It's just what I'm meant to do. I'm just putting a bunch of colors on a wall, making it look good. <laughs>